Chef Freddy back this week, and he's going to show off a delicious pasta puttanesca recipe, a very great traditional pasta flavor. Chef Freddy here from Fantasy Springs with my tip of the week. Today, we're going to make pasta puttanesca. Get a nice skillet on the stove. Extra virgin olive oil. Good tablespoon and a half. Not too hot. We're going to put our garlic in first, but we don't want to burn it, so medium heat on that. About a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. Now, very important, one of my favorite ingredients, about a half a teaspoon of red flake pepper, two minced anchovy fillets, and a good tablespoon of capers, a good oil-cured black olive. You want to make sure they're fitted, cut them in half. Now, some may remember, a week or so back, we made some fresh Pomodoro sauce. That's where this comes in. Take that fresh tomato basil sauce, Add it right to all that other goodness. Now this is considered a very quick sauce because the fresh roasted tomato basil sauce has already been cooked. It's ready to go. You can make several different derivatives from that. One of my favorites is puttanesca. Now, whatever pasta you like. This could be a shortcut pasta like rigatoni or penne or strings. I like linguine with mine. So today we're gonna go with linguine and just toss that really nice. Golden rule with pasta and pasta sauces. Toss them, never put pasta on a plate and dump the sauce on top of it. Fresh chopped herbs, fresh Italian flat leaf parsley, and fresh chopped basil, and the most important, grated Parmigiano Reggiano, plus more for serving. So once again, toss, and there you have it. Pasta puttanesca. I'm Chef Freddy from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.